me teach you a little sign called coronavirus safety. Here we go. You want to get some racing, some nice racing gloves or like these, just working gloves, very good, very strong, nothing getting in here, trust me. Like, I've almost stabbed myself a hundred times and just stopped it. That is step one. Step two, spark our racing hoodie. And step three is my favourite step. You've got to be ready for anything, do you know what I mean? Like, you just got to have your helmet on for safety. Ah, I've got the tab stuck in my ear. Now you may find this a bit excessive, but safety. So look, coronavirus ain't touching me. See? Safe. Can't touch my hands, can't touch my face. Even say if I, like, I'm itchy and I want to touch my face, yeah? I can't do it. See, look. I'm making this visor all dirty, so it's probably not a good idea, but yeah. So that you can't touch it, you can't put fingers in your mouth. It's just it's just not happening, mate. Like, it's it's called safety. Then uh, I've got to go shopping today. So this is not a non-session to travel. Like, I generally have to go. I've got a shopping list in my pocket. Because I'm going to show you for evidence. But, say, milk, butter, stuff like that. I've got to pick it up. Also, just as convenient, I've sent some car parts there so I need to pick them up as well so two birds in one stone safety first to make our trip down to Sainsbury's you just gotta be careful because you never know where Corona is man it might jump out at us somewhere we don't know yeah so safety We made it the same race. I'm gonna have to quick switch to a smaller mask because I'll probably get done by security for wearing this mask. So, three, two, one. What are you saying? New mask, new mask, new me. What are you saying? All right, so the key to same is actually not that bad for once, it's usually quite bad, but uh, it's good. Cool. So, I'm gonna go in there now, get my shit. I'll sort to my other camera, and yeah, we'll go get the stuff. And this band's about to slide off me because I put it on wrong, but yeah, let's go. It's never hard to find my car in a car park, I ain't gonna lie. Kinda glows. Kinda rate it. The size of that. It's fucking ridiculous. Let's go on, boys. I think that trip was fairly successful. Um, I have to keep the gloves on for now. But the, the gloves are a good idea because you don't know what you're touching in there yet. So you want to wear some gloves. Also, the big box thing that I've collected here is well long. It's what we need for the ST. So I sent that to like, the Argo support off eBay. And then obviously picked up just the grocery shopping as well. So win-win, kill two birds in one stone. Now let's go home and fit them. Sick. But yeah, it's well hot. I don't know why it's so hot, but I've got marshmallows because I'm gonna make a fire pit. I'm sick. Gold fire's looking sexy as hell. I do love the look of this car, but I still just want another car as well. I don't know why I want a new car, but this looks sick. But also, I want to get something sicker. Or I don't know. My head's all over the place. What cars to get next at the moment? But I've got a few in fault. But yeah, Fiesta time today. I want to try and fix this rear bumper because this looks awful. Um, I need to get the handbrake cable on and potentially the exhaust as well. Like I said in the previous video, which I was hoping to get, which didn't get done. And before I make the same mistake I made last time, I've just got them out and checked. They are the same length, and they are. These ends is what the ends we wanted because the other ones wasn't at these ends. But yeah, that's perfect. Um, let's do this. I'm just gonna skip to when this is jacked up. So it's already all taken off underneath anyway, so it should be just plug and play. So three, two, three, two, one. Oh my god, the brightness. Fuck my. She's up in the air. Alright, I'm gonna get these bad boys. I'm gonna roll under the car and we're gonna fit them. I think it should be alright, I've got to get a little clip out 
Here's a little clip I had to keep that goes in there to hold it in. This uh, can put back in my car, so I need to get that. Then we can fit these on. Hopefully this goes well this time. Show to you that I'm more good than I am bad. I work it out, I work it out. It's just a handbrake cable, they said. It will be easy, they said. This is so long. If anyone are asking why I took all this up just to get this 10 mil, it's because um, I don't have a 10 mil deep socket and didn't want to go buy one. So I just decided to rip this all apart. Great idea that was. Now the reason why I undone that 10 mil, so this blue cable now has more slack, so it's come more this way, I might undo it some more. It's pretty much, I need to get this bit through there, but I can't with that reach from down there. So by giving it slack, I can put it into position better, because this side, the side that was actually damaged and fits perfect, but the other side is just playing around. So now I can slack, hopefully we should be able to get around it, and it should be all good, fingers crossed. So now, as you can see, these two are both level, one's not pulling more than the other, and they both run like, perfectly all the way down to the ends. No kinks in them. And yeah, they both finish up like that. So now I've got to try and put that dashboard, or centre console, back together as if I hadn't touched it, which usually never goes well. Um, I'll tighten that 10mm back up, and then there's also a little wash that comes on top of it. You should just pull it off with pliers, push that back on top, and then pretend I've never touched it. And hopefully the handbrake will work. But I'll check that in a second because I'll probably check that very soon. I'm scared, but I should be right. And then at least we can finally move on from the handbrake cable, and it is done, and I ain't ever doing it again. To show to you that I'm more good than I am bad. So, as you can see, I've got the exhaust mostly on. I've clamped it up a little bit. Um, it's not aligned right yet. I need to tweak the clamp and um, probably going to rip the comments for this like usual. But um, I put a cable tie on that last mount because the one mount I don't have an exhaust mount for. But it's in the post and it should be here tomorrow. It's 24 hour delivery, but obviously everything's running late at the moment. So it looks a bit weird, but. It'll be here tomorrow. I'm not going to be driving till then. I just want it hanging on there so it's not in the car. Now I'm going to sort this bump up because I do have the brackets. I'm going to stick the brackets on. And because I put like I put like wrapping tape on this, it's what I should have used on my other Fiesta. So as you see, it literally leaves no residue. So it's banging. I only put this much on just in case, you know what I mean? But uh, get all this off. This tape is actually sick. I'm buying loads more of this. So this is blowing my mind. Like right, it's sick. Right, yeah. You get the point. I'm gonna take this bumper off. Sort out these. It's a good thing about this coronavirus stuff. You can get shit done. Sort these out, and then this bracket was all right, but it's still not actually like perfect. It does clip in a bit, but not 100%. So drill out the old brackets, and then put the new brackets on. Obviously, it's getting on now in the day, but I ain't got nowhere to be. So. Might as well just carry on. I work it out, I work it out. This is what I meant in the other video, but I put a big old screw in it. Ah, it's wham. It's like three inch. But yeah, so these bits here are actually alright. Just for um holding the bumper on it's well not the bumper, sorry, the uh like the shit shields in, but as you see these, these have been taken off which is fucking annoying. I need to get new ones of them. But these, I'm just gonna glue on and it does seem to be a screw it there, so if I screw it in there, that's going to hold that perfect anyway. I'm just missing a screw, but I'll find one, or like a clip. And in this side, this has got a bit of damage, so it's probably not going to fit on very well. Because that bracket there is not there anymore. It's actually on the car still. So I'm going to probably just find a way of just fitting it in well, like it has a groove it fits into. So if I tape it down and just put some bonded bond around it, bondi, it should be alright. But um, I don't think it's going to be too hard and it's going to make it look a lot neater. But before I do that stuff, the pretty stuff, 
this side's the side that was flat, obviously. I just drew out these. The other side, the bracket's still half on, but still needs the same job. Let's say do it. The iron how way. Come on, that's a good advert for iron how there. I fucked up them rivets, yeah. I know what I do the other side, I'm going to show the other side because it's probably a bit boring to watch. And then uh, we've got to find a way of fixing them in, but there are quite big holes where the roots have been in. So I probably could nut and bolt it if I can find some nuts and bolts. So that could work. I've got both bracket sides on. The problem that I'm having is, so this one I fixed in, that's not moving on no more because I found a screw for it, so that's in there, it's all good. But this side, obviously, I'd happily buy a new reflector, yeah, to fit it, but the bumper doesn't have the trim on where it fits too and I'm not buying a new bumper just because the one reflector won't fit. I tried to see if we're going to let it work. So I'm just trying to work out a way for this to stay in there without moving. Because not being funny, I'm not going to hold bumper just because one reflector don't fucking work. It won't fit properly. So, um, the plug of it's still on there. I've just unplugged it from the bulb. I'm trying to figure out a way in which I can just keep some sort of pressure on it. Um, I'm going to have to have a think, look around for some stuff, but I keep getting super good myself at the moment, which is not fun. It's just really frustrating one little bit. But I've been out here like all day, I'm going to have a mad tan. Sick. That's what I'm talking about boys, that's sort of fitted in and it needs a little bit more work but i need so much some like proper strong bonded shit or like two pack this is all good i think the bad fitment on this corner here is just from the bumper but it's nothing bad um there is like up here obviously i can't fix onto where it is so i'm gonna have to figure out something but i can get this in here because I've, I've took all the clips out of the um the uh, brackets to where the like, shit shields go. This side's obviously 10 times better, whereas like, this is all hanging off. This fits perfect now, this side. Um, down here, it just needs in here. Clip down there. You can't reset really on the camera because I can't get a light. Just clip there and then two bits there, and then that'll be all good. But yeah, rear bumper's on. Just need to sort that shit out, but I've got all the clips and stuff and the fixings there. Exhaust is kind of on, it's not on fully yet. And I'm glad to announce said handbrake works. Thank fuck. Still gonna go just test the, the rolling of it, but I still need to put this dashboard back together. And I left it in gear so it would stop it from rolling and stuff, but it's gonna be easy if I just do it when it's on the floor instead of like leaning in. But yeah, gonna take it off the axle stands finally and then we are one whole lot closer i'm just glad that rear end's done i've got quite a lot i've got what i wanted to get done today so that's sick and i'm really happy about how this is fitting down here just gonna bolt it up and we're good putting this center console bit back together was literally the bane of my life it was such a bitch but to be fair like every single thing i've worked on this car seems to be a bitch so only suits it doesn't it all right well I need to get some food, but I'm going to check this handbrake first. Like, it's sitting in at rolling, so it is working. But I want to, like, give it a yank, just so I know it's all good. Before I actually take it on the road, like, I'll drive it just around my area, because it's safe. Still probably going to have people cry in the comments, but fuck yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to check it quick. Here goes nothing. Oh, too far. I've got little legs, man. All right, start up. It's even quieter now with that back box on. Uh, handbrake release. Feels good. Feels good. All right. Um, I need to drive 15 miles an hour over over 15 miles an hour apparently for the ABS light to go out. That I was talking about in the last video. So um, too bad. I don't think we have to go over 15 miles an hour. But yeah, here we go. I'm gonna have to move the camera to me because it's gonna fall. Heat. Let's try to go 15 mile out quick. Yeah, I need to 
only got to 10. This car ain't fast enough, bro. I'm at 10 mile an hour, I need 15. Feels all right. I think everything's good. Oh, the light went out. Fuck yes, ABS lights out. All I've got now is an airbag light, and that's only simply because I don't have that passenger seat in. The handbrake works. It didn't feel great, it didn't like hook, but um, let's try this again. I've got an idea. I'm gonna call this the handbrake test. Probably gonna break it. Fuck it. Here we go. Three, two, one. That ain't bad. It stopped, didn't it? Handbrakes aren't usually like sharp as fuck, but I just wanted to check. If I try and move now, in first. Moved a bit, but it's it's doing something. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot better than it was before. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's like if it's working fully properly though. I'll get so, I'll get I have to check it. But like it's it's definitely there, like it's not gonna roll away. But I'm not sure if it is hooking as hard as I'd like it to hook. Do you know what I mean? Um I'll try it again, I'll put the hammer all the way up. Yeah, like it doesn't it's not stopping me from going anywhere. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. I ain't doing it today, fuck that. But you already know we got a load done today. Don't have to leave this in fucking first gear tonight. I can just put the handbrake up and leave it in neutral. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, a comment below, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you liked my safety awareness at the beginning of the video about the coronavirus. Because I thought that was quite, quite good to spread the message, you know. Also, check out the Patreon if you haven't. And please, please do go check out my Twitch. I'll leave it top link in the description. It really does help. I've been smashing it lately and I just want people to check me out on there. So that'll be linked down below as well. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.